It's time to wake up. Let's take the wake up and stop being a wee bastard. I'm here with two real life giants. Let's see if I can survive this lifestyle. They start the day off with cold exposure, but they're obviously way too big for an ice bath. Ah, uh, let's go, let's go. Oh, this is cold. It was freezing outside, so the water was extremely cold, and I was about to find out. So the two giants had a challenge for us. Now the real test. Five dunks in a row. One, two. <laughs> I'm already shaking. Oh, okay, Captain America goes first. <laughs> <laughs> and Arjun is still trying to finish the challenge. Oh, 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 there's a bigger wave coming. <laughs> this is what you have to do to become world's strongest man. <laughs> so besides an ice bath, we're going to do everything they do. This is just the start. So this wave literally turned me into world's strongest man. But I still had to finish my five cold dunks. Good. What? Two, three. Ah! Come on, yes! Ah! That's it! Is this normal? This insane of a view? Sometimes that's all you see dolphins and seals. Dolphins and seals? Wow. Wow. Ah! Someone's got me, please. <laughs> Uh, too much cardio. <laughs> I was also getting cold and actually a little too cold. I can't speak anymore. No, you're you're done. I wasn't feeling well, so they tried to warm us up. Go on, yeah. <laughs> because I wasn't feeling my legs, they just picked us up and brought us back to shore. Like Baywatch. Oh, you guys are better than Baywatch. <laughs> I was maybe smiling here, but I was freezing and literally couldn't feel anything. I am so insanely cold. I wanted to handle the cold really well. I think I did, and then I didn't. <laughs> this is actually pretty good. Yeah. Go on. Go in, bring it in. <laughs> there we go. You, you, can, you can get closer, by the way. I know, I keep shaking. It's one of the lowest body fits right now I've ever been to. <laughs> <laughs> My feet are so cold. I'll lift you up here. And at some point, I just couldn't feel my legs anymore. I have never been this cold. I can't feel my feet. <laughs> never thought I'd have world strongest man. <laughs> this is good practice for when I have the baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. There you go, There you go. I'll get in the car real quick. <laughs> so after warming up in the car, it was time for our first meal of the day. A strongman breakfast. Thank you very much. So is this meal one? This is meal one for us, yeah. Five eggs each, a little bit of smoked salmon. So how many calories do you guys eat every single day on average? I'm on average 8,000. I eat like 3,000 calories a day. Jeez. Oh, no. That's one meal for me, isn't it? <laughs> but if you guys are eating so much, are you guys ever hungry? Very rarely. Um, actually, I, this is probably the hungriest I've been. I'm quite hungry. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm hungry. Let's start eating. Let's start eating. Start eating. How many calories is this meal? So this is probably quite a, a low calorie, not, not very much. It's a really good meal. Yeah. Do you feel like you should actually also have bigger forks and knives? Yeah. <laughs> After meal one, it's time for a workout one. I'm pretty fueled up. You need to hit lift some big, big weights. <laughs> this is it, guys. This is where you train. This is where the magic happens, eh? Everything looks like a challenge. So we actually have already seen some massive dumbbells that uh, we're definitely going to try and fill at lifting. Our pressing area, so overhead stuff. You've never pressed a log, have you? No. No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. So it might be good to start with uh, 50 kilos. That's the lightest log we have. <laughs> if you can't do that one, you're, 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 you're kind of fucked. So that's a position you're going to hold the log in. So just kind of hold it and just do some pops. Let's see how good we are at Strongman. It's basically doing a deadlift. You're standing up with it first of all, yeah? So you're tucking it right in tight. As you're standing up, pulling the log in, and then you're coming up, and then it sits on top of your chest. Oh, the, the mic is good. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Is this your best move? For me, yeah, this is my pressing. best. Pressing. Yeah, pressing, yeah. You do like that? Yeah. I almost, like I lose balance. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go, there you go. That's it. Oh, easy. Easy, nice. Oh, ah. oh my God. Too easy. Oh. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Oh. Level one complete. Let's go up to 60. You can't fail here, come on. No, I can't fail. Get up, there you go. There you go, there you go. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Solid. Oh, yeah. Solid. Have you guys got a bit of a competitiveness between you? Let's put it like this. If one goes first, the other one does want to do at least one more. It might be a big part of your success as well because you're brothers. Yeah. You push each other in a very positive way. Big breath. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come get on. it, get it. Yes. Here we go. Come on, power. 
Oh. It was not just raw strength. There was quite a lot of technique involved as well. They gave us some more tips. And after a couple of minutes, I... Oh. Still so couldn't me, do it. This is 70 kilograms. I'm 80 kilograms. I, I feel like I could do it, but I also felt like I could break my back. Fully leaning back with 70 kilograms felt quite dangerous. Yes, easy. Throw that fucker out. Boom. Go on. Oh. Wow. Oh. Okay. Ooh, try 80, yeah. Let's try. 80. That's more than my body weight, yeah. What do you weigh? Uh, 76. Oh, yes. Let's get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Use your lights, use your lights. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I've never pressed anything close to that. Oh, you want to try and pick this one up? Let's do it. The bigger they get, the easier it gets. So. <laughs> it's so awkward. You can't you can't keep it close to your legs. Oh yes, yes. Oh, that's a, but that's a deadlift. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, that's class. If you look at these strongman events, it's like, oh, sick. Okay, I could do, I could do half of that. No, you, you can't even, you can't even do ten percent of it. <laughs> what? What? No way! Yo! What? Should we not do handstand push-ups? Where would you do them against? I do not do no support, no. No, no, no. The fuck? I'm a three. Wow. I wish we could bash that out, man. That'd be cool. That's literally the unliftable now, man. That's oh! there. It is. That's the exact same one we have. Okay, so this will look way too easy. Oh, that's too hard. <laughs> what the fuck? We are mere humans. These guys are giants. You got it. Oh, yes. There you go. There you go. Man. Oh, can we compare hands? Grip strength, it helps have bigger hands, of course. Yeah, I think mine is even smaller. Look at this. <laughs> He's gonna do it. Boom, boom. Come on. Come on. Oh, grab it in the middle. Boom. Oh, it's not far away, man. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> no, it just slips. They're donating all their chalk to, to this cause. <laughs> Scoop grip. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, I'm out. You guys ready for level two? <sighs> what the fuck? So easy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on, man. So annoying. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> Level two. I'm out. This is the impossible dumbbell. This is gonna be the second person we need to lift it. The unliftable dumbbell. There's only a few people in the world that can actually lift this dumbbell. And we've met one person before that actually managed to do it. Until today. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. That's insane. No oh, okay. way. Okay. Oh, no oh. way. What? For reps? Oh, he's just walking with it. Oh, okay. Oh, he does it again. We can't. I don't want to injure you guys for your next competition. <laughs> Look at what they're doing. What is happening? They you just, you just <laughs> throw it around like it's nothing. Could you press it overhead? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Boom. Oh. Wow. And his Crocs. He's doing it in Crocs. I think we can say the unliftable dumbbell has been beaten. Yes. That's our pressing workout done. We are doing arm over arm. So as you can see, there's a sled there sitting down with your rope. Yep. So I just sit, sit down? The pool, yeah. Nice, nice tense. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. Go. Let's go, man. There you go. Whoa, wow. Whoa, there you go. Oi. Easy. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. This is warm up. <laughs> you made it look very easy. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, 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 come on, oh, easy. Oh, 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 oh. oh I missed it. Oh, there you go. Come on, come on. There you go. It's nice. <laughs> so look, we'll sit on it first. What's the total weight on it then? Almost 300 kilos. Oh. 300 kilo pool. Look how far it's 200, yeah. You, he's them. looking worried for me. Ready? Yeah. Well, I'm, am I ready? <laughs> Two, one, go. Yeah. Yes! Come on! Yo, you're pulling a giant! Bigger pool's coming. Let's go! Big pool! Whoa. Yeah! I pulled a giant! That was manly. <laughs> Do you guys always feel manly? All the time. <laughs> time to be a man! Are we ready? Let's go! Come on, pool! Oh, yeah! Come on! Come on. Two more! Two more. One more! Go on! One more. Yeah. Let's go, man! Yo, that was so epic. Are you ready for the big boss now? I'm ready for the big boss. 
God. If you can actually fart a little more, maybe we get some speed. Look at how massive that man is. Let's go. Go, come on. Boom. Oh, yes, that's go. it. There you go. Come on. Come on. Boom. Don't stop. Don't stop. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yo, you're moving a come giant. On. Oh, who's yes. there? One oh. more. Yeah. yeah. You want to get a good pump? Pull a giant. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Let's get into it now, come on. Yes, come you got on. some movement. Come on, easy. Watch this is the best train journey ever. Yeah. <laughs> you have reached your destination. It's cardio. This is 200 kilogram debt empty. So what would be nice if you guys could pick it up and walk to that line there. What, oh, you guys, you guys think we can, eat, we can actually walk with it? Rock, paper, scissors, who goes first? Oh! You won! I no, no, no! So first, let's try to lift it. There you yes, go. that's it, that's it! Ah. Easy. Skip. What? Let's do it. Yeah. Yes! Now the next step is to take a couple of steps with it. Yes, nice beautiful. Steps. Baby Come step. On. Stop, step, brief, step, brief. Beautiful, yes, that's it, that's it. beautiful. Yo! Yes, to the line. Come on. Steady, 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 steady. Keep it going, keep it going. Let's go, man, let's go. Almost there, almost there. Drop. <laughs> yeah. That's the best I've ever seen anyone do that for the first time. There you go. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Beautiful. Oh my oh, gosh. Bro. What? <laughs> it's massive, bro. Oh, there you go. Are you sure you haven't done strong one? Oh, let's, let's level up. Okay. Come on. There oh. we go. Yes, that's it. That's there it. You go. Come, on, come yes. on, man. Come on. There you go. There you go. Oh. You got it. You got it. You got it. Come on. Continue. Come on. Finish it. Let's get it. Let's get it. I can do this. Come on. Go. There you go. go. There you go. 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 Five more steps. Come on. Last effort. Last effort. Come on. Yeah, 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 come yeah. On. yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Oh, come on. Oh. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Come on. Come on. Oh, there you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that was heavy. <laughs> Oof. And no belt support either as well. Well, that's something we got. We got the core strength. Whoa, there you go. <laughs> what Tom and I do is unique to us, and what you guys do is so unique to you. So it's it's kind of two unique movements coming together almost. So I believe we got one thing left. Yes, the most strong man thing, the most manly thing ever. Picking a ball to here. Lifting stones in strongman has a pretty large history. The Atlas Stone Lift is one of the oldest and most iconic events in strongman. They lift stones going from 100 kilograms to 200 kilograms. Especially in Scotland, the lifting of natural stones goes back hundreds and hundreds of years, years ago. When the, the clans were about, when kings and queens were about, whoever lifted the heaviest stone was either the, the head of the clan or the, the king's bodyguard. So. It determined the hierarchy. So there's 100 kilograms? Easy. Okay. Oh. He's throwing it. Comes straight down here and pick it up. Try that bit first, okay? You made it look so easy that this is gonna look very pathetic. Put it like that. Yeah, yeah. Really squeeze just your forearms. Forearms around. need to get really, there you go. Oh. Just, just push it down. I couldn't let go of the ball because it was so what? sticky. That is sticky. What are you? If you want a free wax, just do it. Get your forearms right tight. There you go, a drop. Hey. Yeah. I'm gonna say goodbye to all these hairs. Only one thing left, actually lifting the stone. And then basically, you're gonna tight it in. Oh. Does the belly actually help? Yeah, I was sort like, of getting it up? Yeah, the belly helps. It's yourself and the stability as well. Like, like it's pretty solid. So there's but... a lot of abs there. Obviously, there's a nice layer, yeah. but it's like an insane amount of muscle under there. So we found the answer to the unanswered question. Does the belly help? <laughs> yes. How are bellies? Everything in my bag that we've already done. But yeah, same. Things are warmed up. Are you all right, sit on it. Oh, yeah. Wrap your, That's it. Squeeze it into your belly. Squeeze it up. Try and sit low. There you go, and then big drive. Big drive, 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 drive. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It felt like I did it, but because the ball was stuck to my body, I was pulling it back again. <laughs> Come on! What? You can overthink it. Like you just go into it. Yeah, no, it I, was, I was, I was, I was, overthinking like crazy. Give it a try. It's gonna, it's, it's, it's pretty sick. There you go. Sit low. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze that into your belly. 
And okay. explode up, explode up, explode up. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Let's go. You got the tattoos as well, so. Yeah, we, we got something to remember. I don't think there's anyone that's probably done it like their first attempt. These guys are not only massive and build an insane amount of muscle, they also just build skin. You can't drive a sword through it. <laughs> you pass the test, guys. You are you so much, a strong man. Can we get four mushroom soups, please? Can I get the baguette with the salad and cost some chips, please? Can I get four of them, please? Um, and then we'll come back for cakes after. This is a lot of food for one person. There's more coming. There's soup coming dish now, and then we can pick a cake afterwards. Do you count calories? You don't count calories. No. Because we've been competing for a fair amount of time, we know our optimum body weight, yeah. so... Like mine's about 165 kilos. Because there is an optimum body weight. Yeah, right? for everyone, yeah. People think the bigger you get is going to equate to being stronger. Like mass moves mass. Yeah, yeah of like course. This. And in reality, yes, of course it does. But sometimes mass just becomes mass and it's just a waste. All right, let's eat, guys. Yeah. I oh, don't like that. <laughs> Tom doesn't like pickles oh, or mustard. Oh, I'm not. Oh. Old strong as men, giant. He's afraid of pickles. This will probably be something we would eat for one day. What's your favorite cheat meal? A good burger or macaroni and cheese, sprinkled with cheese and onion crisps in it. Ooh. You don't get that in restaurants. How often do you eat it? Not much, eh? Just so I can keep it, so I don't Special. get bored of it. But not because of the calories? No. <laughs> That's normally people's reason to not eat their favorite cheat meal, calories. What we consider a cheat meal, maybe like a, a normal meal for them, right? Maybe we should just switch to strongman as well. Yeah, we're gonna go. Strong one. I was getting quite full, but we weren't done yet. So, are you a fool now? No. Yeah, I'm full. What about you? I am almost. Almost. The cake work. Which one are you going for? The old school sponge. I used to have that in school when I was like 12, 13 years old. I love it. You'll be too heavy to do your body weight stuff now. <laughs> eh? This is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Old school cakes are the best cakes. It is one of the most easy ways to get calories in. Obviously, you can eat a lot of food, but you also really look at it as fuel, and you will use it in a way that is necessary. You don't eat just all the random shitty stuff. There is a thought behind There's it. There's method behind that madness. I feel like I need to take in all this food. You can rest in the car on the way to the gym, I guess. Yeah. After lunch, it was time for workout two, where the two brothers tried our workout. That video is actually already aligned, so make sure to check that out after this video. Can we fit two giants in a mini? You can be the driver. Oh, thank you, good sir. Oh, oh a gentleman. Oh, look at us. <laughs> can you close it? <laughs> Pretty good. That's nice. <laughs> Do you guys have to buy extra plane seats? No, uh, plane traveling is quite an inconvenience, but Tom's broken a few toilets just because he's so tall and the way he drops himself down onto the toilets. We have to reinforce every toilet that we have now. This looks very comfortable, but uh, let's get you guys out. Then we stop by to check out their office and their own store. World's Strongest Man 2022, Tom Stoll. Is that my first or second one? Your second one. Well, my second one. <laughs> Are you not worried that someone knocks out this window and steals your trophy? I mean, if someone steals that, then I know he stole it because I'm the only one that should have the trophy, so it's, oh. it's all good. I would not really say it's any flexing, but more inspiring. I think it's also for the like the community, you know, especially with Tom. We haven't talked about that, you know. Tom got diagnosed with autism when he was younger. So for him to showcase his, his trophies here, when little kids walk past that might be diagnosed with autism, that might be on the spectrum, that might be struggling. So was Tom Stopman. Tom Stopman walked these high streets when he was five, six years old. So maybe one day I could be like Tom Stopman and become world's strongest man. And that's what, that's what the trophies are about. <laughs> Those are some of the most beautiful words I've ever heard from a brother. Inspiring people for me is the best. Cause you know, when I obviously been 10, 11 years old, diagnosed with autism, you're kind of like, there's nothing to do in this life. So all I did was I wanted to go to the gym to lift weight just to make myself better. You know, I couldn't live without my mum and dad. I couldn't stay over at my friend's house till I was 14 years old. You know, a lot of people want to do it for the money, the trophies and stuff, but I just do it because I love the sport, you know, and I just love competing and it's helped me become who I am. I've learned how to talk to cameras in the gym. I've learned how to meet people in the gym. Like, you know, 10 years ago, I would have my head down, couldn't talk to you guys. But now you're just this legend that inspires millions around the world. You're going to have to roll with it and prove everyone wrong. And, that's what I'm doing now is proving people wrong and makes a difference is the resilience that you show, the, the mindset that you have, the dedication, the consistency, the, the support, and that's what has made us to what we are today. And of know? course also the brother. 
I mean, yeah, I mean. How did you end up where you are now? I started seeing myself getting bigger, bigger, bigger. Stupidly, I was like, oh, I'm pretty strong. I'm and like, one of my friends said, oh, let's do a competition. I ended up winning that and then convinced me to do Scotland's Strongest Man. I won that and I won it for the next five years. You're working away three, four weeks at a time or three months away if you're abroad. And then I'd finish up on the oil rig and go straight to the competition, compete, and then go straight back off to work again. And you're like, oh my God, I'm, I want to jump off the oil rig because I'm so sad, so depressed. So it was very manic, either very high or very low. So I need to find that balance, which is where the cold water comes into. It's just a consistent thing every day to have sort of a reset. You can't be mentally weak, you can't be emotionally weak and still be physically strong. You have to have everything for me. That's, that's the true meaning of strength. I made a promise to my mum, kept it, and. Now I'm sitting here as one of the best strongmen in the world and you know, business owner, gym owner, it's cool how times can reverse. People didn't believe in me, teachers said to me a lot of things that weren't going to do it. You only get one chance in your life to be something and leave a legacy in your life and my, my thing was I want to be the world's strongest man. Your motto is leave a legacy, that's where that started. Yeah, I mean for me leaving a legacy was just in general like I'm inspiring people, kids with autism because you know like, we go to expos and mums come up with their kids and said like this is the first time my kid's been out and months because of you, Tom, and they just start crying when they see me and stuff because I, I say autism is a superpower. And it might be one of the main reasons why you became world's strongest man. Because you focused on one thing and one thing only, and you fucking did it. When I wrote on Facebook a month before I went out, Tom Stoughton, world's strongest man, 2021, because I already visualized, I already seen me stand on the podium. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. That was really good. Thank you so much. It was getting late, and it was time for the last thing on the list. Dinner. What is the harder part, the food or the training? Um, food. Training's a joy. That's why we do it. We, I actually expected you to say that. We chose to do the gym. Gym's kind of a break away from the world, but this is the hardest part. Dinner. First of all, thank you guys for inviting us. Yes, it was house. amazing. Was a you showed us the world of strongmen. <laughs> I got us excited. You conquered the world of strongmen. You literally left no stone unturned. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks phenomenal. It's homemade. Homemade, yeah. Do, do you eat a lot of homemade? I mean, both Tom and I were, were blessed with having partners with wives that can, can cook, which is amazing. Yeah. We're not the most able cooks in the world. <laughs> but we're good at eating. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to smash the like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And make sure to check out the Stolman Brothers. Yes. Also, you shout out for Gymshark for making this collab possible. Gymshark has an epic challenge on their website that might help you try new things and become a better you. Check it out, and I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>